This video covers installation procedures for Thermon Terminator ZPXP, power connection kit for Thermon self-regulating, power limiting and constant watt heating cables. This kit can also be utilized for inline splice connection, or T-splice connection applications not addressed in this video. Receiving, Storing, and Handling Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. Use the supplied dimensions for the Terminator ZPXP to ensure adequate space is available for proper installation. The following kit is required for power and end terminations. One kit is needed per heater and must be ordered separately. Refer to Form PN50136U. These are the recommended tools for installation of the Terminator ZPXP kit. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. At the proposed end of circuit location, lay out heating cable on pipe, allowing extra cable for the power connections. A minimum of 300 mm or 12 inches of heating cable is required for an expansion loop. A minimum of 380 mm or 15 inches of heating cable is required for electrical connection. For zone type heat tracing with HPT and FP cables, the bus connection should be within 50 mm or 2 inches from the surface of the pipe. Do not exceed heating cable minimum bend radius of 10 mm or 3 eighths of an inch at temperatures down to negative 15 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 mm or 1 and 1 quarter inch at temperatures down to negative 60 degrees Celsius or negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the heating cable at a 45 degree angle to aid in piercing the grommet. If the heating cable is mounted on the bottom of the pipe, punch out the weep hole. Slide the expediter toward the pipe while routing the heating cable through the support base entry. Insert the banding guide in the base and snap into place. Secure the expediter to the pipe using the stainless steel pipe band. Important! Do not bend over heating cable. Cut off the end of the heating cable at a 90 degree angle. Leave a minimum of 180 mm or 7 inches for heating cable termination. Terminate heating cable with the appropriate PETK termination kit. Refer to the PETK installation instructions for details not addressed here. Upon completion of termination, push heating cable back through the expediter leaving a 25 mm or 1 inch space between the power connection boot and the base. Tighten the grommet compressor securely and tape the heating cable expansion loop to the pipe. Mount the junction box making sure to align the slots to properly orient the assembly. Tighten the grommet compressor securely. Install the M25 power gland and the M25 blind plug. For inline splice, T splice, or N terminations, install an additional M25 blind plug instead of the M25 power gland. Order M25B, EXE separately. Pull in power supply wires and install the quick mount terminal blocks. The tightening torque should be 1.5 to 1.8 newton meters or 1.11 to 1.33 foot pounds. Complete system wiring. Terminal set screw tightening torque should be 1.4 newton meters or 12.4 inch pounds.
Typical wiring details. Install the junction box lid and twist hand tight. Insert a screwdriver into the ratchet slot located on the side of the junction box base to tighten. The lid will rotate 30 degrees. To remove the lid, repeat in opposite direction. Completed Thermontaminator ZPXP, power connection kit for thermon self-regulating, power limiting and constant watt heating cables. For additional information on this product, visit us on the web at thermon.com.